hi everyone and welcome back in this video let's take a look on uh, other constructs also like uh, having dynamo db lambda s3 buckets and all all together okay so you can create a simple dynamo db construct sim something like this just a simple dynamo db dot table and the table name let's say we are using uh, users table users and you can also specify the stage in which you are creating it and table name is simply api users and then it's a dynamo db table so you have to specify what is your partition key what is your sort key and all those options you can specify in this uh, let's say the sort key is created at sorry sort key the name is created at which is of type number dynamodb dot attribute type dot number okay so this is just like a simple table definitions you have created it's like a dynamodb similarly you can also create a simple s3 bucket how we do it const user uploads or user artifacts whatever new cdk dot there are many ways to do it so you can just do aws s3 dot bucket or you can import it like this uh, import same as the dynamodb s3 and here it will be aws well, it's not uh, completing it's a cdk dot aws s3 is it something we have here it's still thinking typescript is a little slow here so s3 bucket and here what we can do is we can just pass this bucket name let's say user docs and stage this is the environment and then whatever the properties you want to pass for the bucket name is let's say the bucket name bucket name is simply what bucket name you wanted to put user docs and then stage and then uh, retention policy removal policy is cdk dot uh, destroy removal policy dot retain like if you are just uh, doing a cdk destroy then do you want to retain it or you just wanted to destroy it? like get rid of these resources so here we are creating this s3 bucket user upload is three bucket and here is you can say user dynamo table okay so we have these two resources created now how can i let's create a simple lambda function and then we will give permission to this lambda function to read and write to the dynamo uh, or to read and write to the s3 bucket so const api lambda function and here also we will use uh, cdk dot lambda cdk dot aws lambda so you can access the resources like this also from cdk dot function and here you need to specify the whole uh, different properties this your function name Okay, API user stage. This is my function name and rest all the properties which we, we can which we can specify. And in the properties, it's all about uh, function name. There are many properties. Runtime. Runtime will be uh what is CDK dot AWS Lambda. 
again we need to just look for the whole path aws lambda dot runtime dot node 16 memory size 1024 description what are the other properties memory size log retention is like how long you wanted to retain the log for this so we will use this everywhere cdk dot lambda dot here is retention days do we have something properties like this cdk dot aws it should be AWS logs dot retention days and you can specify okay how many days five days okay so we just need to take the help from TypeScript to play around with all these things and these are the environments we have and we need to specify the handler handler name is let's say API lambda handler this is your function name and then the code cdk dot aws lambda dot dot code dot assets from from assets and here you need to specify the path i will just specify path dot join from correct dir name uh, just go one step back and then there is a maybe a source directory from there you can get the index.js i think we already have something index.js we are not writing typescript because it requires bundling and a lot of other things so this is simple code environment is you can pass the bucket name dynamo tables and all current directory name i think we don't need this thing we will see so this is api user what we will do is now we have created this lambda function so api lambda function dot grant grant write okay or let's say this is the s3 bucket we have I didn't care. User Dynamo table dot grant read axis read write data to the API lambda function. And similarly, we have user upload S3 bucket dot grant public axis or read write to the API lambda function. This is how you will specify the you will give permission to this lambda functions to read and write. And other than that, you can also add a policies, initial policies. So here we can just specify initial policy and this policy, these are the policy statements you can add. This will be an array. Here you can add a resources like new CDK dot AWS IAM. These are the IAM policies you are going to add to this Lambda, like adding a policy, policy statements. And what policy statement contains okay what effect there are three instructions right effect actions and resources so cdk dot aws im dot effects allow okay we are doing allow for this particular actions and actions on s3 and uh, the other thing is resources i mean either you can specify the ern of s3 bucket because here because on this s3 bucket i'm just writing a policy that you can do all the actions so here you can specify you have to specify the bucket ern okay so this is like uh, you have added a policy statement with this lambda this lambda can do the read write and all the operations on this s3 bucket why it is complaining bucket er and okay it should be an array and similarly you can attach a multiple policies 
here let's say I'm talking about SNS you can send this lambda functions can send message to all the SNS queues which are there in this account so if it, we don't know the topic we don't know the ERN then we can just specify wildcard that means it can send to all the SNS resources and then DynamoDB and we already have a dynamo table resource user dynamo table dot ERN let's say dynamo table dot table ERN so uh, we will see if this works I mean we need to specify the table ERN for this and uh, I think yeah we will see but because we also need to specify the index all the access to the table resources so this is how we can initialize the policies like uh, this lambda can do this do that and then explicit permissions also added here to read and write to the s3 bucket and read and write to the dynamo table and then you can also console output all the the resources you are creating using cloud formation output so new cdk dot cnf uh, output cloud function output okay so what we are saying is this and i'm just calling it as a what is my api lambda handler api lambda function this is my resource and i wanted to just could set these output export variable names for the stack so if I can when I want to refer I can refer it from here API lambda function ERN and the value is the ERN of the lambda function API lambda function dot function ERN so these are the export variables added to this particular stack Similarly, we have a couple of more for the Dynamo for the S3 bucket. So this is user Dynamo table. I mean, these should be appropriate names. I'm just putting some random names for now. This should be table ERN, and then there is an S3 bucket. dot it should be bucket ARN so these export names will be added and we can also see that in the console that these are the resources has been created with these ARNs so let's play with this on to this source we have index.js already and that has a handler index.handler so we may need to change our stuff in the lambda so handler is index dot handler okay so that should be good and in the environment you can populate okay s3 bucket name t uh, dynamo db table and all whatever the environment variable you wanted to specify let's say i'm just specifying stage and then i will just uh, deploy this using cdk deploy Now let's deploy this particular stack which contains s3 bucket dynamo db table and the simple lambda function so we will just do npm run cdk deploy and we will see what all resources are getting created for this stack the api lambda stack okay creating the assets and now if you see what all permission it is asking for it is creating this particular role and it is creating all these are the policies okay resource effect actions and principle and then all the resources like it is we are giving permissions for the s3 uh, dynamo db table and sns and it is creating these resources and we can also see what all resources are getting created in the the cloud formation
so it is creating cloud formation chain set and going to create all these resources for us i mean there may be a failure also if the resource already exists and you are trying to create it again or you are creating some stack name which already exists or resource already exists in that case you may see a problem you can see a dynamo db table with identifier already exists so it's it will roll back it will not create anything can i add a policy here removal policies cdk dot removal policy dot destroy and here also i will just say destroy so when i just do npm run cdk destroy it should clean up both the resources like s3 bucket and the dynamo db table i mean ideally we should not destroy them because let's say somehow if you de destroy a stack your persistent like s3 bucket rds dynamo db table table should also gets destroyed so we should avoid it here i'm just creating a demo and i'm just showing because when i do this again i'm getting this error because maybe a partially this stack was deployed and the, those resources were created and the stack was not completed now when i'm trying to create the stack it is saying duplicate so first let's clean up this uh, stack by removing this s3 bucket and removing the table now i will just do is cdk deploy again so it should create the resources again so we are just doing simple plug and play with the aws cdk and seeing how these resources are created destroyed what is the retention policy so ideally now this should work we should be able to see all the stack created with all these three constructs which is dynamo db table s3 bucket and a simple lambda function so it is creating cloud formation chain set now what is this api docs development already exist because this s3 bucket already exists and we cannot create it again so what i will do is i will just change this name ideally it should clean up the resources once we create these resources we will do cdk destroy command to see if both these resources gets destroyed or not you can see here i just now change the resource names so what it will do it will automatically replace those resources with this so that's also another way to clean up the resources if you change the name then the old resources because now the stack stake definition has been changed now we you are using a different s3 bucket with a different name so the old s3 bucket because the removal policy is destroy will be destroyed and similarly for the dynamo db table so it is creating this dynamo db table s3 bucket and the, the roles and creating this lambda stack and it will take some time because it is creating cloud formation template and just then deploying the cloud formation templates to the aws so here you can see the outputs this api lambda arn user dynamo db table arn and user upload s3 bucket arn and we can also see all these resources in this stack these are the resources so you can see there is a s3 bucket there is a dynamo s3 bucket dynamo table and the lambda function 
and we can go to dynamo db lambda and s3 bucket to see all these things so i can see one table there i can see s3 bucket and this is my lambda function okay you can see the sort key and the partition key user id and the created at and this is my lambda function i'm still using simple javascript because for typescript i need to do the bundle and all these things will happen this is my s3 bucket now what i will do is i will try to clean up the resources let's say if this removal policy really works destroy so what it should do is it should clean up the resources means the dynamo db table lambda and this s3 bucket should be gone once we destroy this stack so you can also see the progress in the cloud formation like uh, whatever is we are doing through the cdk should be reflecting the same here so delete is in the progress and what all e events you can see it is deleting the resources also so that's good so it's deleting this s3 bucket delete complete is the only thing is the dynamo table the delete complete so now if i just go and s3, check the s3 bucket i should not see that s3 bucket now you can see that bucket is gone user one docs app development the dynamo table is also gone okay so that's a clean way of doing things and to avoid any duplicates because earlier we were facing some errors because the s3 bucket was already there maybe i did a control c while creating the resources so the resource or resources were partially complete and then when i'm trying to do cdk deploy the same name resources are already existing because once you create a res once you do the cdk deploy you can do cdk deploy 10 times it won't complain that resource already exist because that is part of the stack and it won't create that resource again until unless you update the resource name or resource policy and all those things so that's just a simple demo uh, let's see in the next video we will attach an api gateway to the lambda function and see the real life example